Holly can't see. Huh? Let's Holly can't see. Holly's, Holly's not supposed to see. Wow, this lipstick's a little bright for mommy. All right. Hello, Live Nation. Hello, Facebook. Facebook world. Okay. <laughs> we have Landon home again. <laughs> and we have Harley up here with us. How's everyone doing today? Hold on, let me get the dog down. Okay. Happy, uh... Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Oh my gosh. I need a bottle of wine, guys. All right. So, um And I need water. <laughs> he needs water. Okay. So, how's everyone doing? Is you're tuning in? Please let us know where you're We're tuning. Really tuning. <laughs> Let us know where you're tuning in from. Um, I'm gonna give it a minute. Today we're just gonna talk about resilience, right? <laughs> and how to bounce back from, from any situation. So um, yeah, as you're tuning in, make sure you say hello. Um, drop me a comment. Uh, if, you're no, if you're new to who I am, my name's Julie Burke. I'm the founder of createsuccesswithjulie.com. I've been in network marketing for five years. Um, I also have been in the online marketing space for the past um, probably about 13, 14 months. And what I really specialize in is helping entrepreneurs grow their businesses um, through utilizing and leveraging social media, right? And the internet. So um, I have my little guy home with me today because uh, grandma is still sick. And so we are really uh, working it over at the Burke household here. <laughs> Um, hey Kim, hi Natasha, how you guys doing? Um, yep, so as you're popping in, say hello. And like I said, if you're new to me, please uh, drop me a one so um, I can personally say hello to you. And also, you can head over after this broadcast hello. to uh, create success with Julie.com and grab yourself a free gift. Okay, so today, real quick, I just want to talk about being resilient because I've been really on. Um, Working with some of my clients lately, and you guys, I get that we live, you guys, Landon, come on. Okay, I'll be right out. Um, and now he's sad. Okay, hi Joanne, hi Beth. So, yeah, originally I was supposed to go live at noon. I know yesterday I was saying noon, but um, I had to go live earlier. So, again, if you're on the replay, please um, just drop hashtag replay. And uh, I'll make sure to say hello to you um, later on. I always come back and check the messages, you guys. So, okay. Um, I just want to talk about resilience real quick and give you my four tips because um, through our, our careers as building a home-based business uh, around our family, around maybe working a full-time job, um, you know, just, a, 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 just around life in general because life is crazy, right? Can I get an amen to that? Um we, uh, hold on. What? Okay, go, go look. Go look. Okay? I'm almost done. Um, it's snowing outside. It's like 65 degrees. Okay. So, um, anyways, we're going to hit walls, right? And in, in, in our life and in our career and maybe our relationships, okay? And so here's four tips I'm going to give you because um, I know through my... Um, career in this space, you know, being in network marketing for five years now, um, it wasn't always easy. People are like, how did you grow to six figures in your network marketing business in a year? Because I became bulletproof, right? Like I became resilient. I didn't let the nose affect me, you guys. I literally just kept going. Um, I was able to build my business without hosting a home party because I didn't want to and, you know, cold calling people because I didn't want to. And, um, I was able to do that because of the person I became, right? I became on this journey and I had to learn how to really bounce back to all the no's. And see, that's the thing, like oftentimes we let the no's stop us. If you're, whatever you're doing, you know, whatever type of sales job you're doing. Hold on, let me close the door. Sorry guys, hold on. All right. 
right? And so if you sell product services or your opportunity, like we're gonna hear a no at a certain time. So what do you do? Okay, well, first off, um, I wanted to be the heroine. I didn't want to become the victim, right? And oftentimes we allow ourselves to become the victim. Am I right? And so you want to choose to be a survivor. You want to, um, sorry, I got my guy out here. Uh, when we're when, when we're faced with um, bad news, right? Before we even can comprehend the news or it, like I said, if someone tells us no, um, we immediately jump to these conclusions, right? Like, that's it. Nobody wants my stuff. That's it. Nobody wants to work with me, right? Or God forbid, if we have some serious news in our life, like we automatically, like our brain, like resorts to like the worst possible thing, right? Which is what's going to happen. It's going to elevate our stress. Am I right? So, you know, you want to, um, anytime you up level your life, I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to hit walls. Okay. You, it's just going to happen. And so, um, what stress does is it uh, blocks your pur your purposeful action, period, okay? Hey, Jamie, how are you? Um, and so at that, when it, when it blocks our purposeful action, it's gonna send us into a downward spiral, okay? So choose, you guys, it's all about choices. You want to choose to be a survivor. You wanna choose to not become the victim, okay? And then uh, there's the second tip that I have for you is to choose to allow these setbacks to be an opportunity to propel you forward, right? So every, um, every wall I hit, every time um, I was pushed back, like if I took five steps, I was pushed back 10, right? Um, anywhere in my journey, what, if it was in my network marketing business, Maybe I um, went to go do a hotel presentation and I showed up and I was super pumped about it and um, nobody showed. Nobody showed but my teammates, right? Like nobody knew sh showed, right? So you're thinking like, you, you just, you get down in the dumps. Am I right? But what I learned was, okay, well, I view that as, well, let me look at different avenues of how I could be able to build my business. And this is where social media came into play, right? And this is why I teach social media and I teach it to do it right. I didn't go into Facebook groups and start, start conversations with people. That's not what I teach. I personally did not do that. I didn't go look for people inside of Facebook groups. Um, I did not spam links. I did not really, I, I didn't send spammy messages. If I sent a message to somebody, I would say, hey, hey, Rachel, um, listen, I know we don't know each other, but I see um, all your posts, and I really think that I have something that would be beneficial to you. Um, you know, maybe I was in health and wellness. I was in health and wellness, and she was a, um, um, she was a vegan, and I had a dairy-free protein, and it was a really good quality. And so long story short, I approached her in that manner instead of spamming her my company link and saying, um, you know, here, check this out. Um, let me know what you think. No, no, no. I started a relationship first. Do you know to this day we are um, still good friends? And she was ve she's very well connected. I didn't even know that. I genuinely just reached out to her because I knew I had something that could help her save time in her life that was a good quality and that she would probably enjoy being a vegan. Okay, does that make sense? Um, but I didn't spam links. So and even in my online business, you know, I remember once I was hosting my online um, webinar presentation, masterclass, whatever you want to call it. And the last 10 minutes of my presentation, boom, like technology went out and nobody was there. And I'm like, oh my gosh, right? And so um, it was a setback. It was a setback. But guess what? I still ended up closing that at a really awesome rate because I went into, you know, it's like fight or flight. People want to give up and they're just like, forget it. No, no, no. I went into fight mode and I, I did my what I needed to do to get it up to my audience, okay? That's why we have replays. I re-recorded the last 10 minutes, I put it together, and I sent it out a replay. Guess what? I made five multiple five-figure sales, all right? So we always look at these opportunities. Even though I drank a bottle of wine that night and I was crying because I was so upset, um, it's all good. You know, you deal with it, you pick yourself up, you brush yourself off, and you move on, all right? 
Number three, um, reward yourself. Dote on yourself. So often we are punching bags. We're our own punching bags. Stop. Stop. Okay. Um, if we don't hit a goal, we feel like we're a failure, right? If we don't get something on our vision board, we feel like we're not worth it. Stop. You got to stop doing that, you guys. Does this resonate with you? Like, am I the only one has ever treated myself like this? Um, and, and if you are resonating with this, then drop me a yes. Drop me something. Drop me an emoji. Let me know that you're with me right now because I'm going to tell you that um, I work with so many entrepreneurs and I know, I know, I can say I know, I'm not alone in this boat. Like we all hit these certain levels in our life, right? Hey, Heather, how are you, honey? Um, and so rewarding ourselves and being kind of ourselves, like getting enough sleep, right? Getting enough sleep so we have brain function, drinking enough water, um, maybe go to a yoga class or do, um, if you're more into high intensity, go work out, go release that stress. Um, maybe, uh, if you're like me, my sanity is going to a spa. I love spas. So maybe I'll reward myself, even if I didn't hit the goal. Because why? Because I tried. I still tried to hit the goal. What's up? Okay. Um, and so, sorry guys, I, if you're just turning, tuning in, I have Landon home with me today. Okay. Those with kids, sorry to get sidetracked. Do you guys have these like little things and they grow in water? Like they get super huge. Like my kids absolutely love them. <laughs> They're called grow dinos. <laughs> Anyways, keeps them occupied for a little bit. All right, go ahead, bud. Go put it in water. Let's see it grow. Okay. Right? So normally, here, prime example, you guys, when I would do Facebook Live, I used to freak out. Freak out. If my kids would come in the room, if the dog would bark, if I stumbled or I forgot what I would say, you got to let it go. You got to let it go. There is no such thing as perfection. And you not, you guys all know that I teach, and if you're new to me, just know this, I teach how to grow your um, authority factor through utilizing Facebook Live and utilizing video. It has been, um, that has been, one, there's two strategies I've used. Facebook Live to grow my audience like no tomorrow. Like my fan page, ridiculous, 36,000 followers in one year. Like it's crazy, right? And I'm talking like active, engaged followers. And the second was hosting online events to grow my business. So I was able to grow um, past the one-to-one -one phase, okay? All right, so anyways, be kind to yourself. Reward yourself, please. And then um, number four, and this is my fourth and final tip, okay? So I guys, I, you guys, I hope you're finding value in this. Um, don't go at it alone. Do not go at it alone. And what I mean like is stop beating your head against the wall trying to figure it out. Um, stop taking advice from people that you would not switch places with, okay? Please, I had a client messaging me last night and I'm helping her set up um, um, like a group, a prospect group, okay, for her um, business. And one of her team members, like, was poo-pooing it, okay? And um, it's a great idea, but her team member, and I said, okay, um, and she's a friend. Sometimes it's so hard to work with friends. I don't know if any of you can agree with this, but sometimes there's going to be friction there because you're so close and one's going to think this way. It's like apples to oranges, right? And so I said, well... Is she successful? Like, what's the deal? And she's like, no, not at all. I'm like, okay, so she's not successful. And um, how is her strategy? Does she have a strategy? And she goes, nope, not really um, at all. And that's why I'm doing this, so I can help our team grow, right? And I'm like, would you trade places with her? And she says, uh, no. Then stop listening to her. Like, keep doing the do. Keep doing what you want to do. You are thinking outside of the box to make this better for your team, right? So that's cool, but don't go at it alone. Like she has a big team. Just because this one person wants to rain on your parade, don't let it get into your head. That's the thing. Don't let it get, earlier this year, I had my upline completely come down on me. My old upline, not my new one, my old upline completely come down on me, um, plus my company, plus compliance, like all this stuff. And I did nothing wrong. I did nothing wrong. But guess what? 
I could have played the victim role. I could have let it get in my head. I could have let it stop me from doing what I'm doing right here with you right now. They didn't like that I was teaching other marketers. They didn't like that I had my own coaching business. They didn't like that I was promoting other people's stuff in terms of affiliate marketing, even though it had nothing to do with my company. Like it's a training company that trains marketers how to build their business online. And there's a lot of leaders out there that have this scarcity mindset right now because they're scared because people are leaving their company and their downline because they see what other people are doing. They're teaching the old school methods. Listen, it's not that I don't believe in old school methods. I, 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 I've lived it. Like I've done home parties for my, my old team and, um, I've done coffee shop meetings and I did networking events. Like you guys, I've done all of it. I prospected the person on the airplane. I prospected my bartender. Like I prospected people out and about, but it was so uh, like unauthentic. I was sweating. I was sweating because I knew I had to prospect this person. I don't like the way that that feels just like, um, a true marketer goes out there and they like pitch, 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 pitch. I don't like the way that that feels, right? I don't like the pitch mode. So I tell people if I'm going to share something or promo something like a lot of you are probably on my email list and a lot of you have probably seen I'm promoting um, Kate McShay's 60 minute enrollment method. I'm legitimately telling you, um, I'm sorry, emails are heavier this week, but I just want to get this information in your hand because it is going away. Okay. So I'm just being honest. Like, I don't like hardcore sales. Um, I don't like hardcore clothes, just like the next person doesn't like it. So don't do it. So there's all these leaders out there that have this scarcity, like freaking mindset because they're now bashing online marketing. Guess what? I'm not going to shut up. I'm going to keep going and I'm going to surround my pe- myself with people that are going to take me higher. I'm going to surround my people with myself with people that believe in what I'm doing. So guess what? I walked away from multiple six figure income to start over again. I started over again and we are flipping rocking it. I have 80 business builders underneath me in the matter of three months, okay? And we build 100% online. So guess what? I took something that was totally a negative situation that had me crying my eyes out for three weeks and I brushed myself off and I said, okay, I could sit here and be the victim or I could do something that is going to help benefit my life and help me just get out of this drama and feel better with people that I know I can trust and that I know will take me higher. And that's what I did. Okay. So yeah, you look at it, 9,000 people. I walked away from a team of 9,000. Um, and yeah, that sucked to start over. However, you think it sucks, but it ended up being the biggest blessing. So do you guys understand what I'm saying? This, I, I really hope you guys share this. I want you to share this message because this is super, super powerful. And so many people out there allow their circumstances to stop them in their tracks. So if you share, I want to personally give you a shout out if you share this or if you tag somebody to this message because people need to hear this. Um, because nobody will speak it except I will. I will. I will go up against anybody that tries to come down and say that what I teach is not right. Because what I teach has given me um, not only a multiple six-figure income inside of network marketing, but I went on to generate another additional three three six-figure income streams in less than a year. Okay, how did I do that? Because this is what I teach. Online marketing, how to brand yourself, stop branding the company, stop showing your shakes all over the place and your oils and this and that. Like, Stop spamming, start creating curiosity, start mixing up your posts. Like you shouldn't be posting every day about your business. Start adding value, start teaching, start entertaining, do whatever it is that you want to do. Um, start talking about what you're passionate about. Just because you sell maybe um, an oil doesn't mean, let's say you're passionate about weaving. Go create videos about weaving. You're going to generate those leads and those people that are going to be attracted to you that also love weaving. And then guess what? You slide in like, hey, I love to weave, but guess what? I found something I'm super passionate about because um, these oils have been a huge blessing to me and my family's lives and they help for this and this and this, like lifts off the benefits, stop talking features, right? Like, so you guys have to understand that um, you have to break out of this scarcity mindset and there's so many people out there living in a scarcity mindset okay start thinking in abundance some of these top leaders out there um, that want to bash people that teach online marketing are coming 
from a scarcity mindset. Okay, and I don't want that. I don't want that to prey over you. I want you to be able to go out there and build the business that you truly want to build. If you want to do home parties, more power to you. If you want to drive 50 miles to a networking event, more power to you. If you want to hire the babysitter because your spouse isn't going to be home from work so you could go to a coffee shop meeting, more power to you. If you want to leverage the internet, more power to you. That's just what I teach. We're always going to have different um, views, okay? I teach what I know that works. I teach what I know that has worked for me that allows me to be home with my son, with my mother in bed, super, super sick right now, okay? That I'm able to be home with him and be able to be here and talk to all of you. Now that's powerful, right? That's super powerful. And it, it fires me up and I get emotional about it because I don't want to see people out there um, um, allowing other people to make decisions for their life. Okay, cool. All right, guys. So listen, um, yeah, please, please, please share this message, please. Um, I, you know, and it's not for me. It's not like, hey, let's get more eyes on Julie Burke. Like share the message, truly share the message and tell them why it was powerful to you. Share why this is, I'm getting super powerful. Share why this is powerful for you. I want to hear from you. Drop me a comment below, okay? I love interacting with all you guys. Thank you so much. Um, thank you, Robin, for sharing. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. The reason why it, that this resilience and how to bounce back is super important is, like I said, because we allow ourselves to stay stuck in a cer certain situation. And then I had a client last night that told me not only, I had two clients. One client's telling me about how someone poo-pooed on her group. My other client was telling me how her company, the upline, is coming down on them about all of this stuff about building online. And I'm like, well, what is it that you truly want to do? And she's like, I want to do this, I want to do this, I want to do this, I want to do this. I go, then awesome. Then you do it. You flipping do it, okay? You have to figure this out. And you have to move forward in the... You have to move forward on the path that you're meant to serve. She wants to serve. She wants to impact more people. She wants to create her own coaching business. That's what I'm helping her to do. I'm not helping her to grow her network marketing business. I'm helping her to grow her coaching business and her online presence. Okay? That's what we're working on. But then, her, you know, the, these people, the upline goes into like, you know, siren mode of, oh my gosh, there's all these people teaching online marketing. Now we have to scare our downline and we have to stop them from wanting to learn this. And it's BS, you guys. It's total BS. I don't put out there anything that I, I, don't, I don't promote, I don't share, I don't put out there anything that I know does not work. Okay? So if you know me, you've been following me, you know who I am, you know I'm like cut straight to the, <laughs> I'm cutthroat, I'm no fluff. Um, I'm not here to bash anybody. I'm not here to bash like the way you want to build. You do what, like I said, more power to you, whatever you want to do, okay? Um, just don't stay in the victim role. Please, don't. Be the heroine. Be the heroine for your own future and your own life for you and your family because nobody else matters besides you and your family. Do you understand me? And surround yourself with a team of people that are going to raise, raise you up. Um, I am with amazing business builders. The reason I'm able to create all my other businesses um, on top of my new network marketing business is because I have an incredible leader and upline, but not just that, I have, I'm surrounding myself with the right people that um, like are, are, they like take initiative. Like there's no flipping handholding. Why? Because when I started over again, I attracted them to me because I said, I want people that are going to figure it out. I will direct them along the way. I will point them to the tools, but they do it. They take action and they figure it out as we go along. We're all figuring it out as we go along. Like I'm no crazy ass expert. I'm figuring it out as I go along. Don't worry, Landon's not in here. The door is shut. I'm not swearing in front of my, my little guy. He's watching Mickey Mouse. Okay. So, um, and that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted for my team. Not like, hey, what do you think we should do? Or like where I had to like drag people to events. No, our first event, we've been in this company less than three months, two months, um, 16 people to our first event. And I'm going to have well over 30 people at our event in January. Like that's awesome. And we're not dragging. Like they're coming. 
So surround yourself with a team of people, start attracting the right people to you. And the way you do that is by getting up and getting the right message out there. Okay. Now everything has to be product based when you post, right? I don't post anything about my network marketing company. Um, I haven't, I haven't really broadcasted on my personal page. I will broadcast it soon, but I'm going to create so much damn curiosity. People are going to be like, oh my gosh, what is she doing? Right? They're going to want to message me and know what I'm doing. Does that make sense? I hope this makes sense, you guys. All right, yes. Move forward on the path that you are meant to go, period. All right. Woo! I'm off that. Oh, here's my mom. Oh, sorry, mom. I got to decline you a second. I'll call her back. You guys, I haven't talked to her in like 48 hours. The poor thing's been so sick. I will call her back. Um, Hi, Allison. Girl, I was just talking about us. Um... Yes, so there you have it. When time get, times get tough, you want to definitely surround yourself with the right people, and um, and I'm blessed to have that. Okay, so um, if you're just tuning in now, go back to the beginning of this um, broadcast because this was a very very powerful message today. Thanks, Allison. Hi, Wendy. Um, all right. So real quick, you for those of you on here, um, mm -hmm. now I got that message out there. Um, I hosted a live workshop last night with the wonderful Kate McShay. If you're on my email list, I'm sure you've seen my emails. Her four part, uh, four free four part video series has been going out to my email this past week. Um, she's an incredible mentor and a teacher, and what she created is a, um, a, a product which literally teaches people how to build their business in 60 minutes, and then you can set it on autopilot. It's really, really cool. I've tested it. I've done it. I don't promote anything I've not personally done myself, and that's how I know that this is super powerful. So anyway, she showed up last night. It like rocked the house, um, and I have the replay. So if you were not able to grab it, the replay is up for 48 hours. If you want the replay, I need you to, to type in um, replay. Uh, right now in the comment section, I will personally send you the link. I am not going to post the link above this uh, video. I just need you to write or type uh, replay. But anyways, I gave away some amazing bonuses last night, you guys. And so did Kate. And so I just wanted to announce the winners. Um, so I raffled off a team training, one team training with anyone that purchased last night by 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So Shannon Galladay, you won the team training. So you and I will strategize on what you want me to teach your team. And so uh, congratulations to you. Um, I also raffled up a 30-minute uh, a free coaching session. So we're going to dig deep and strategize. And uh, I will help you in any part of your business that you need within. And trust me, we could get a lot done in 30 minutes. So Congratulations to Ashley Ross. Um, you guys, I usually charge $1,000 uh, for one coaching session. So um, why? Because I get my clients results, period, right? So Ashley, I am beyond excited for you. I also raffled off some, some other coaching sessions on Monday. Um, so, so congrats to those uh, winners. Okay, this is super cool too, you guys. This is probably like my, my coolest, not that I don't love my own coaching and to do a team training. But I am rolling out, and this is very, very new, so you guys are kind of getting like an insider secret right now, because I haven't even broadcasted this. But I created um, my, uh, I created a new program because every single day I am asked, Julie, how did you grow your fan page so quickly? Why do you need a fan page? What's a fan page versus the personal page? Um, how do you um, grow your audience um, on your fan page as quickly as you did? Uh, what kind of content do you put on your fan page? Um, you guys, all of that. How do you start a funnel? How can I start a simple sales funnel for my business so I can funnel in and get more leads and um, connect with more people and make more sales, right? So I created my fan page funnel domination. Uh, of course, you guys, it is unbelievable. It's super, super cool. I am test piling. I have like a test pilot where a couple people are going through it right now um, and they're loving it. And so I'm also testing a likes ad campaign right now that in the last two days have pulled in um, 3,600 likes at one penny. 
Um, you guys, that's absolutely incredible. So this is stuff I'm going to be sharing in the future. So fan page funnel domination, um, you're going to get, it's a $997 value um, when it rolls out. So Amy Moore, um, Charlie, uh, Tal Talverin, Charlie, Charlie, you were the only Charlie that bought last night. So I'll make sure you get the email. Amy Moore, Nicole Keller, Marge Carter, and Elizabeth Green. So everyone will get um, uh, emails in regards to all of the winnings. And there's my little lipstick because my lipstick was way too bright earlier. So yeah. Okay. Congrats, guys. Like I said, it's about giving away. I, I don't want you to just invest in this course. Like I want you to be able to, I want to invest in you as well. And that's why I've been giving away all these giveaways all week long. Um, the cart is closing soon. Kate will not open up this course as far as I know. Um, as far as I know, she, she ha had launched it last year and then she closed the cart. And this is the one year anniversary. So all year long, this was not available, you guys. And I definitely, definitely, definitely um, stand behind it 110%. I know it works, not just for me. Um, I know several of her students. And as me, too, as a teacher and a facilitator, I have my own products. Um, we don't want to just put out crap, right? Like the last thing we want to do, we want to we wanna develop and create more case studies and testimonials, obviously, of people that are having success. Um, and so, uh, anyways, if you want the replay, drop it below. You guys have an awesome day. Thanks for hanging with me. I hope you found this message message today. Very, very valuable. Go out there, rock your business, be resilient and, um, live the life that you always, always dreamed of with, you know, joy, purpose, and freedom as I always like to say. So you guys take care, have an awesome day and I'll see y'all real soon. And if you are on, um, the, if you are coming back and viewing this later and you want the replay for that webinar, um, just uh, put hashtag, uh, hashtag replay or hashtag link. Um, I probably should have had you guys just put link. But anyways, hashtag replay link, like we'll know what that means. So just do that so I can distinguish from these comments. I don't want to send that link to anybody that doesn't want it, okay? All right, guys. Take care. Um, you're welcome, Wendy. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Michelle. Yes, I don't know what yes means, but if yes means you want the link, then then drop a link um, or drop a replay. Um, okay, I will get all that out to all of you guys today. If I accidentally send you a link and you didn't want it, um, please don't open it. Don't, no worries, okay? I just uh, wanted to let you guys know about that replay that's up for two days. Okay. I'm running. Bye, guys.